welcome to the MBS show, episode number 238. I am your host, Summer Sanso. Joining me today is Torterra. A wild Torterra has appeared. Don't bother trying to catch me though, because I will run away like the legendary Pokemon do. I have a Master Ball. Well, you gotta find me in a cave first. Um, okay. Well, I never wanted you. Yeah. Good, I didn't want him to be caught by you anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if he's silver, you want him all right. <laughs> okay, you know, that's a totally different subject. <laughs> yeah. uh, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Been busy and all, but you know, how about you? I'm good too. A bit tired here and there, like time zone change and also... Yeah, darn timelines. Yeah, a lot of things happen. Uh, really tired at the same time too. Yeah. It's been a while since you came on, so... How has it been, man? Like, um, what's new with you? Uh, well, I made new friends, you know, friendship is magic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, you know, I had some ups and downs, I had a job, and I lost one, I got another one. <laughs> and let's hope that this one stays. Yeah. But other than that, um, what else, man? Like, what's new? Oh, well, actually, I also, my, uh, artist friend that I mentioned last time, she made some vectors for me, so no more pony generator for me. Yay! Wow, awesome! I know, now I can be one with the greats. Yay! Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, still the same colors? Yeah, still the same colors. Black with my main being red and purple. Yeah. Or purple and red. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, I, I do hope for the best for you, and well. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. And so, anyway, let's head on to the news. Um, it's been a while since you've been on and talk about the news. Um, I think yes, it has. <laughs> yes. I think the last time you came was for a comic review. No, yeah, a comic review was there no. for an episode of comic review, right? It was a comic review, and we also did a look at the gift of Mod Pie, where it was with Silver and Sapphire, which Sapphire was totally embarrassing me in front of Silver. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I still remember that day too, how I was in complete silence and then she's like, I think Tatera's dying on the inside. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Sapphire, be quiet, be quiet, Just don't embarrass me in front of my senpai. Well, if he does listen to this, you're gonna be doubly embarrassed. Oh! <laughs> uh, but I doubt he listened to this. I need to send the link to him then. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anywho, <clears throat> let's head on to news. And before we do that, have you watched the season finale for season six? Yes, I have, and I have so much to talk about that, but that's on another topic. <laughs> oh, wow. What do you think about it, like, in general? Well, I'm kind of, like, I'm, like it was very good, but c- it confuses me at the same time. Like, how confused? What what, what confused? Like, go, like, Thor, like, when Thorax, well, of course, you know, there will be spoilers ahead mm-hmm. of people, just saying. Well, it's been a while, but, but, like, what, it's been... Um, last month was it? So it's been what, almost a month now. True. Some people though, they have still haven't seen it though. Mm, true that too. But um, so yeah, spoilers ahead. Mm-hmm. The when Thor when Thorax changes and he shares the love, uh-huh. and then all of a sudden, like yeah, because Thorax, you know, he was with Flory Hard and the others, so he had a chance. And then all of a sudden, the other changelings change that instant. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Thorax at least had time to share some love, and all of a sudden, they just share love in an instant. I- yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's one of the things that we need to bring up when we do the review. But exactly. Yeah. That's why, that's why I have so much to talk about that. Yeah, but still, like, that, that's one good, um, confusion to have. But here's another one. Have you noticed how Chrysalis' voice is a bit different than normal? I had a feeling that would change because in the, um, the My Little Pony game, the, the one for the Android phone or iPhone, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. Something like that. When when you see Chrysalis in the game, she doesn't have that changeling voice. She just sounds like a normal pony. Hmm. Really though. Yeah. Well, I haven't played. Do you play regularly? Well, I used to back in the day. Oh, all right, all right. And well, first news up to bat is well, Chrysalis' voice in the final episode explained, and it's not a very interesting explanation. Long story short, if avid listeners or avid fans of Chrysalis um, noticed that her voice is not the same as when she premiered. Her voice here doesn't have that buggy um, sound to it, or what's the word? What's a better way to phrase it? It doesn't sound more like, uh, I guess you could say, a, a possessed voice. I don't know how to explain it. I know what you're talking about, yeah. though. Um, <laughs> or I would say more 
electronic sound. There's no robotic thing like um, modulating her voice. Like there's no additional effect on the voice. Yes, 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 yes. That's a good um, way to phrase it. So, yeah, if you listen to it, she sounds a bit understandable and normal. Yeah. Brony debates. You know the guy, right? Yeah, Brony Buck. Yeah, Brony Buck. So he asks, "I'm curious to know if there's a reason Chrysalis doesn't have that." Cantalot wedding effect in her voice anymore. And Big Jim just says, clarity. There was concern folks wouldn't understand what she was saying. So, yeah, pretty boring answer. <laughs> but I do understand why they decide to change said voice. Because, you know, it's for clarity. Because if you have the voice and some people are hard at hearing and they get confused by said effect, it's going to be, oh, what, what am I hearing? What is she saying? You need to have subtitles. Then it'll be some kind of foreign film. Yeah, it's, it's like they're speaking a totally different language. Called English. What's that all about? Or just have, like, in the Godzilla movies, how they're totally off sync and they just you just hear English. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, true, that, that that's also derp. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but... Talking about movies, right? Are you excited for the 2017 movie? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's not Equestria Girls, and I really don't mind Equestria Girls, but it's about time we get a My Little Pony movie that actually have ponies in it. Yeah, I mean, it's about time. Well, <laughs> it takes, what, seven years for one to come up? Yeah, pretty much. Well, they have to test the waters to make sure the brand's solid. <laughs> You also got to make sure not to upset the fans. Ah, <laughs> uh, true, Dad. Uh, I, I bet that someone's going to nitpick at it and then be like, oh, this ain't, this ain't like the show, uh, you know, and then yeah. they're going to flip out. And you know what? It would be the show if people won't nitpick at it. And talking about nitpicking, people are going to nitpick the heck out of the, the 2017 movie because of its animation style. People are going to say... Oh, why does it look different? Why does it not look the same as the previous movies or show? Why? Yeah, that that that's probably going to be the most one. Yep, and you want to know why? Why? Because Hasbro or DHX Studios has decided to... I'm not even sure if DHX is working on this one, but Hasbro has decided to change their animation program. Instead of using Flash... They're using Harmony by Toon Boom. And... Yes! <laughs> and what does this do? And what does it mean? Well, this is an animation program that uses a different format. So, if you remember that um, Twilight standee that Terra Strong took a while back, that Twilight looks a bit different. You remember that one? Yeah. They're animating and they're drawing using uh, Toon Boom now. So... The animation is going to be different. And what does this mean? Probably better animation? Eh, oh, well, we don't know unless we see it. True. But, but a good example of Toon Boom right now that you can see is shows like, uh, okay, wait a second, Bob's Burger. Um, you've seen that one? I've seen it from time to time. Like, like, well, sometimes when I'm going through the channel, I'd be like, oh, look, it's Bob's Burger. And then, yeah, I just watch it. Yep. So, um, they're using Toon Boom or Harmony. And also there's um, Adventure Time. So they're using the Toon Boom tool or um, the Harmony program for animating now. So, hey, probably we'll see more of a difference as time goes on. From season one all the way to season six, they've been updating their the animation in, in the show of My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. Like the time in, um, I think it was <laughs> Buckball season, when Applejack and Rainbow Dash are walking through the, tr the, the train from the inside. You could see, like, the animation, how they're upgrading it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And from an insider source that I heard, that remember that fight with Terek that Twilight had? Yes. I'm not 100% sure if this is true or not, but I heard that that scene specifically was animated using Toon Boom. Hmm, I didn't really notice. Yeah, same here, but that's what I heard. I'm not 100% sure if it's true. It's only a theory. A Pony theory. <laughs> oh, God, I know. But still, this is going to be interesting, so let's see how it goes. Because, well, um, if the program works, if the program's good, we'll see how it goes. And also, um, talking about Toon Boom, 
You remember the epic Luna animation? The Moon Rises? Yes. Yep. The, yeah, that one. Yeah, done by my good buddy Richard Lionheart cartoon. Um, the duo, one of the duo for duo cartoonists. And that video has been what? Uh, hinted at a long time now? What? For two years was it? I think. Don't even remember. And yeah, it's out. I do not remember. Yeah, it's out. It's finally out. It's available for the public to see. And yeah, it's awesome. What do you think, man? It was, it's amazing. Like, of course, when, when, the Ellie started, Ellie Monty started singing, I'm like, okay, yeah. Well, you, you know, it was her. But like the animation, I was like, wow, this is pretty good. And even the ending where she changes the whole castle and then you see Star Swole, I'm like, wow. I was just speechless the whole way. Yeah. Dunning Toon Boom. <laughs> yep. Uh, Richard uses Toon Boom for his animation. So it's been a while now. I've been privileged enough to see the, behind the scene works from this part to that part. I hear him telling me um, stuff about the behind the scenes stuff, like certain things that he can share and to respect his privacy or to respect his project. I have not told anyone about it at all. So looking at this, looking at the whole video and him explaining to me that he's moving on to Toon Boom and looking at him practicing Toon Boom was amazing. And to see the finished product in front of me, that was, wow, amazing. Let that leave you speechless too? <laughs> well, to be honest, I watched this when I was in bed after I woke up. So yeah, let's just say that I had a really good morning. It's Luna. You're supposed to watch this before you go to bed. That way you can dream about Luna and she being in your dreams. Totera, here's the trick. Luna is what? always in my dreams. Oh, <laughs> Uh, that didn't sound creepy at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. And it almost sounds like you're holding her captive or something. There's always the function. I'm not going to say anything else about that. Oh, I don't even want to know about that. Yes. No, you don't. No, you don't. But on to an awkward segue that doesn't relate to anything. Billy Bob Thornton. You know who it is, right? Yeah, he... Well, I don't know him, like, famously, but... Like, I don't know him that well, but I do know that he was in the one movie, Bad Santa, where he's like a drunk, mean person, and he's dressed as Santa. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's that. Um, if I do understand right, that he's also a singer? He has um, songs? I don't remember. From what I know, he's a multi-talented artist. He writes stuff, he sings stuff, and he acts on screen. So, mm. yeah, that's what I understand, like Billy Bob. I'm trying to look like honestly. Um, besides the bad Santa, I don't remember. But he is a Golden Globe winner for TV and stuff. That is true. And I do see him playing in video games, um, voicing video games actually. Yeah. But still, um, he is multi talented. And what does this have to do with ponies? Well, uh, Billy Bob here watches it, and not only by himself, but with his daughter. And the thing is, um, Billy Bob here was a G1 guy. So he pretty much watched MLP uh, when it first came out. Yep, I think so. But um, basically, Billy Bob told the story of the season premiere, which was Starlight Glamour's first appearance. I think that was season 5. And I think there was one thing. I think it's best that you read this whole bit here because uh, I can't do it justice because... I'm terrible at reading. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best. So, and this is what Billy Bob Thornton said, right? So he says, Fluttershy acts like she wants to become a member, you know? And so they give her the cutie mark equal sign stamp and everything. And then she notices something. Like it rains and it washes off Starlight Glimmer's equal sign. And she's got her own cutie mark. <gasps> so she's like a Jim Jones cult, you know, right? Suffice it to say that Billy considers these to be essential lessons to his daughter. Don't be like the phonies. Don't go looking to homogenize everything like Starlight Glimmer. Wear your own cutie mark. It's yours, and when he can do it for his daughter, focus on ways to bring the world into focus for her. That does his anxiety more good than all the spa music and dog TV in the world. Yeah. So in the end, Billy Bob Pierre says that the pony episodes, they're good and they have positive message. That's why I'm, that's why I'm predicting here. So yeah. I mean, some episodes too, they have lessons that even adults can learn. All of the episodes 
that have a lesson tell a really good lesson is the way you interpret things. And Billy Bob here, he's been around the block for a while now and he can clearly tell what's right and wrong. So that's the news for this week. Thank you, Tara, for coming on the show. It's been a while. You should come here more often if possible. Well, you should invite me more often. All right, I'll invite you then. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You are a very good friend. <laughs> oh, the sarcasm. I don't know where it starts and ends. As long as, we, as long as you don't try to catch me, I think this will end in a very good friendship. Well, dang, I wanted to set the bear traps. Wait, what? Nothing. Bear traps? Nothing. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, or plans to catch your terror, you can send it to the MBS show at gmail.com. You can also send those plans to me at the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS show. For me personally, I am at Norman Sanzo. You can send those plans to me. I'll put them into good use. And Tara, where can they find you, man? Well, they can obviously find me on YouTube, Tortera1324. They could also find me on my Facebook and DeviantArt, Tortera1324, as well. You can donate my Patreon page. I don't have a lot of Patreons, though, but you could donate just maybe a few uh, dollars or so. So maybe I can go to cons. Yay! That, that's a possibility. I do hope people do donate to you so you can go to the cons and so they can catch you in person. Yay! Uh, I, don't, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, come on. It's gonna be fun. But what if you got the crazy senpai people and then they, they get, get a piece of my hair? Well, that's the risk you have to do. So people, if you want to get a piece of Totero's hair, you have to donate to his Patreon because that's the only way to get his hair. Plus shipping and handling. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> anyway, if you have... Can't forget about that. Yep, true that. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. And also, please subscribe to the newest project that we have, the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcasts, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. If you ever want to hear Silver Quill talk about his con experience besides his own video on the YouTubes, you can listen to that program where he tells the story about something that happened at a panel. I don't want to spoil it because it's a really fun story. If you want to hear Sapphire derp a lot regularly than her daily videos, you can hear it on there too. So please do subscribe for some insane fun where I try to put out the fires that this two wonderful co-hosts turn for me. So I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been to a Terra 1324. And we'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode. See ya. You won't catch me. Bye. Ah, uh, we must. We must.